On our United States Tour Operators Association adventure in Croatia, we were given the chance to meet locals and we had no trouble bonding with these warm and generous people. In Istria, the locals we met had important roles in the community. The olive oil makers, the wine makers, the restaurant owners, truffle hunters, and even the mayor who let us sit in on a Croatian pastime. Hallelujah, hallelujah. People who come here always speak about the, 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 the positive energy and good feeling they have when they are in Motown. We were lucky to be on tour with a USTOA member VBT bicycling and walking vacations in the Croatian islands because each day we were able to meet new locals and actually spend quality time with many of them, even in their own homes. I met one local that I'll never forget in a tiny two-building town on the top of the highest hill on Broch. We had our steepest incline of the week and I biked all the way up to this lovely Croatian lady and she made it worth it. I was charmed the minute that she hobbled over to me to help me off my bike. My fellow VBT passengers loved our surprise stop of Luta, and those moments in her farm will be cherished. Another incredibly impressive local fixture was Anthony, the king of Pitsagian, a favorite Croatian sport, played on the beach in Split. When you first time take the ball and try to, to play, it's very hard, you know? You fell in love and you fell in love for all life. I started playing 40 years ago and I'm playing every day. Okay. Beautiful! The people of Split were eager to share their pastimes and invite us into their culture. A lunch in a local Osteria quickly turned into a clap of serenade from some of the port city's friendly locals. Croatia surely knows how to make you feel welcome. And one of the most hospitable of all our experiences was from a beautiful young mother in Postira, her hometown on the island of Brach. She invited our VBT group into her home while her children were watching TV on the couch, and she served us a real, authentic Croatian home-cooked meal right in her very own kitchen. We had a variety of appetizers, delicious stuffed pepper entree, and this was just not the kind of thing that you find in a restaurant. Her food was even more meaningful because this is what the locals really eat like. She answered all of our questions and taught us so much more about what it was like to be Croatian and live on this small island. And by the end of dinner, when her daughter served us cake that she had baked that morning, our little VBT bicycling and walking vacations group felt even more like family. Yeah.